For the past few weeks, I've been showing you guys how you can create some beautiful hairstyles using spring twists. You can do this beautiful cornrow style. Then I switched up for you guys and showed you guys how to do it without crochet or rubber bands. So I gave you this other beautiful look. Then you guys asked, how do you wash your hair when you're wearing spring twists or passion twists? And I gave you guys that video as well. But after I washed my hair, it started to become a hot mess. I had braids that were falling out and I'm like, you know what? Let me just remix this one more time. So I turned my twist into these beautiful goddess twists. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna be using some free twist braid here in a deep and 22 inches, just one pack of a color number one I purchased from Amazon. And previously I tried to use some spring twist to make it look goddess-like, but it wasn't working at all. So I was like, let me just go and get some free twist here and make it do what it do. So I'm going to actually take these old twists out and replace it with the free twist hair. So let's get started. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna separate that free twist hair. I'm using my thread holder and then some edge control just for where my edges are like missing a little bit. I'm gonna use the colored black ones. But other than that, you can just use any regular edge control to make this look look bomb. So you're gonna add your free twist here to your spring twist, you're gonna put it together, and then you're gonna go ahead and attach it. You can do the crochet method, you can do the rubber band method, it doesn't matter which method you prefer, you go ahead and you attach the two together. So with me, I'm doing the no crochet, no rubber band method. If you guys wanna know how that is done, I definitely will slow it down for you guys later on this video. But basically what you do is you just regularly just braid your hair, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now it tends to get tangled up just a little bit, so just be aware of that. I would highly suggest using a mirror when doing this so you can see which hair is which. And then once you get your hair braided down to where you want it to get braided down, then that's when you're gonna separate that free twist hair. I feel like I'm gonna be so mubble mouth saying free twist all the time. So I'm gonna braid it down just a little bit and just use your discretion when doing this. There's no specific method on doing this. It's supposed to be a nice, free, tropical look. So you're gonna take that free twist here, you're gonna put it away. If you're doing it on yourself, you're gonna put it in your mouth. If you're doing it on the client, have the client hold the hair. And then I'm gonna start twisting the hair down. Again, you can freehand it on how far down you want it to go. And then when you realize where you want that second piece of hair to stop, you're gonna pull that second piece of hair out as well. With me, since I'm doing it on my hair, I'm gonna put it right in my mouth again just to hold it. And then I'm gonna continue to twist down. And this is the finished look. Again, you can put it as high as you want, as low as you want. I'm gonna alternate with each twist that I do, making the um, hair just be out in different areas. Another thing that I did was, I didn't do it to every braid, but I did it to every other braid, because I didn't want too much curly hair with my spring twist, because I wanted you to still see the spring twist. So every other braid, I'm gonna do that same method with adding the free twist hair onto my spring twist hair. If you guys are interested on where I purchased everything, there will definitely be links in the description below so that you can know exactly where I purchased it. Also pay attention to the description box because it shows how many braids I have in my hair and how long it took for me to do this method. So I'm repeating the same steps where I'm gonna braid my hair with the spring twist and the free tress braid. And then I'm just going to determine where I want the first loose hair to come out. Again, it's really good to use a mirror so you can distinguish which hair is which. I'm gonna hold that piece in my mouth and then I'm gonna twist down. And then once I feel like, hmm, I think this is where I want that next loose piece to come out, I'll pull that piece out, hold it with my mouth and continue to twist down. It's really simple to do. Another thing too, myself, I'm natural, so I had to pay attention that my natural hair didn't stick out when I was twisting it out. So that's what I'm paying attention to. I saw that my natural hair was gonna stick out, so I was like, no, I'm not gonna pull the free twist out here. I wanna make sure that I can actually loop my natural hair in with the spring twist. So that's why I went down just a little bit, and then I pulled the free twist hair out, and then I will continue to twist down. Now here I'm gonna slow it down for you guys so you can see my no rubber band, no crochet method. I do have a video showing you guys how I did that in detail, 
but I'll show it to you guys in case you're lazy. I mean, I'm like that too. I was like, why would I click on another video when you could just show me in this one? So <laughs> I will slow it down for you guys. I like to use edge control because it just makes the parts a little bit neater. I'm going to take my natural hair and I'm gonna split it in half. I'm gonna take my spring twist and I'm gonna put that in the middle of that half. Then I'm gonna take my natural two pieces, you see those two pieces on the top, and then the spring twist on the bottom. So now when you gather the hair together, you're gonna to have three pieces. That's gonna be your braid and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna braid it down. I really like this method. It's actually pretty lightweight on my hair. I like the way it looks. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy to do for me personally, but yet I've been doing my hair for ages, since I was like nine years old, so everything seems pretty easy to me. Um, I even tried doing the um, knotless method with this, but I'll show you guys in another video how to do a knotless method. That came out bomb.com, but I just freestyled it with this look. What was more important is just to show you guys how to make your spring twist or your passion twist look like goddess twist. So like I said, I'm gonna repeat this method throughout my head. Edge control makes your braids look so neat, so please make sure you have that handy with you. And like I said again, I'm alternating. So one braid will have the free twist hair in, one braid will not. You can do every other braid, um, you can skip braids. It's all up to you on how much curly hair you want. But I would suggest not using too much curly hair because you want to still see that spring twist or your passion twist poke out. So this is what half of my head looks like. I'm really liking the way it looks. It's not too much hair. You can still see that it's a goddess look, but then you can also see that it's spring twist. Now it's time for me to work on the other side. As you can see, it's looking jacked up. So I'm gonna do the same method on the other side. And then that's basically it. You have that complete look with the hair. Um, for my entire head, I only used one pack of free dress hair. Um, I didn't need to use two packs. And I think that one pack cost me about three or $4.99. I don't remember how much it was on Amazon because they didn't have any more in my beauty supply store. And uh, for the back, I did the same thing just alternating um, braids. I think I didn't really do every other braid in the back. I just picked and choose where I wanted the hair to lay. Um, again, you can do where your hair pokes out a little bit towards the top and then coming a little bit towards on the bottom. It gives you that nice islandy free vibe to it. But one thing I should definitely let you guys know, so a week later, it was a hot, tangled mess, guys. A hot mess. I don't know if it's because the synthetic hairs are just bunching together with the, the twist. It just was a mess. And I do sleep with a scarf on my head every night, but look at how it was bunching up. Like, it's still pretty. I got so many compliments, but it was a hot, tangled mess, guys. I'm like, how am I supposed to function with my hair looking like this? Um, with always, whenever I do a review for you guys, I never show you guys directly how it looks. I always like to wait for it to be a week later so I can show you guys how it looks because I want you guys to really see what a hairstyle will look like once you leave the salon, especially if you're paying for this look. So what I decided to do is try to add some mousse to my hair. Um, maybe that would work and maybe some Cantu Shea Butter to see if that will loosen it up a little bit and bring the curls back. So just beware, even though this look is very, very pretty, I'm not sure if your hair does the same thing when you have goddess braids, but just be aware that the hair will definitely tangle up with your spring twist hair or your passion twist. Maybe with the passion twist, it won't tangle up as much, but with spring twist, it tangled up like a hot mess. And I had to use so much mousse in my hair, but I definitely wanted to show you guys, look at the struggle, what, look at this mess. And this is a week later, so best believe I did take my hair out after I did this video because I just could not deal with it. So I definitely want to show you the pros and cons. It's a pretty look, but man, let me tell you, a hot mess.
But anyway, so I just wanted to show you guys just how I remix my hair one more time. If you haven't seen the other two videos, I will definitely link it below. Um, the way I use cornrows and spring twists in the back and then doing the no rubber band, no crochet method. How I washed my hair with the spring twist and then how I made it into goddess socks. Um, goddess, not goddess socks, goddess twist. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Give it a thumbs up, share it on the social media, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.